down to is is supporting um, expression, ex supporting the arts, and uh, you're doing that tonight. You should feel really good about yourself because um, it takes it, it takes a lot to to perform a song that you you wrote in front of people, and it takes a lot to do that on the reg over and over and try to uh, capture that same feeling in performance and expression. And so. Um, to go and support somebody, to do that in front of somebody, uh, it's hard to play shows in front of nobody. I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but um, thank you guys for being here. It, it means a lot. I encourage you to go to shows you've never been to, you never of people you never heard of, and just listen through a couple sets and, and check them out and give them your love, even if it's for one night, one time only. You can say you have. Hey guys, come on in, make yourself at home. There's room for everybody. If you need a chair, there's some back here. If you need a beer, I encourage. Um, refreshing yourself it doesn't have to be with you we have bottled waters as well uh, but please make a donation it goes to the it goes to the band that's right uh, we don't ask anything for all this beer it gets donated to us just for the shout out and um, and all the money is gonna go to Julia and the Tigers and um, you know still gotta feed the, feed the beast within real life Tigers within us all the guys so <coughs> I'm thinking about, I'm trying to do this radio show, kind of based off of this, what I do here, and it's going to be Panther Pete's, you know, happy hour, like, <laughs> Panther Pete's happy hour, <laughs> you know, and like, yeah, Panther Pete, call now, call now, if you call now, please don't call after 10, because I'm trying to chill. Alright, so, that's right, this is the only event in town that ends at 9, I know, it's like, okay, way to go, Dad, you know, we're gonna go to sleep, but no, seriously, I am gonna go to sleep, because tomorrow's gonna be a long day of making coffee for the world, because I'm the general manager of a coffee shop, which is cool, um, I put a bunch of crystals all, all throughout the coffee shop, and, you know, call it Hocus Pocus, but let me tell you, at the service station, when that person was like, what is this? Uh, you know that zombie sound hits? Jamie, you know that sound? You know that? Like, oh gosh, here we go. This person is the devil. And, but those crystals being there, I swear I've seen, I've seen them. Ah, they're so pretty. Okay, I'll just take these, you know. So this is this little uh, excerpt brought to you by crystals. If you call now, you will get a crystal in the form of love. Love can be compounded into a crystal. Did you know that? We'll talk about that in the next episode after these messages. Uh, so, um, we, you know, it's just editing techniques. Chandler and I are on a kind of another level. Uh, let's just hear it for Chandler Burns back here. We call it, we call it Minnie Kramer. He's got a lot of cool names going right now, but the truth of the heart of the matter of it is that he's a sweet, he's a sweet kid, way ahead of his time. 17 years old, right? 17, and he is editing, making movies, producing stuff. I mean, like, I'm, he started our YouTube channel. Please check us out. And you can check us out, too, if you call now. Okay, so, Keelan, man, I tell you, I told this dude today I was going to go buy, I was going to go buy uh, a bunch of cheap suits at the, you know, at wherever it is, H&M or whatever, like, just on the clearance rack. All right, you have 46 regular. Here we go. You know, just get a bunch of cheap suits and just roll around on the bike. Hey, man. Got a suit with you, Pee Wee? And they're like, no, man, I'm just rolling, rolling, styling. And you can style too. If you call on out, you can do my 100 week program of styling out. I will teach you how to style like Mario Lopez. In fact, we go seek out Mario and ask him the golden rule of styling. Okay, so anyway, um, I, I'm really excited to, to announce this next artist. Are you ready now? I'm sorry. Okay, all right. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, to kill your flow. Oh, All right. Tell me about the show afterwards tonight. So the show afterwards tonight is at Lola's? No, Republic Street. Oh, Repul Republic Street Bar? Yeah, Republic Street. We got Signals and Alibi. Ah! Dead Singers Party. Ah! Then we just released their cassette, but we don't have it quite at the moment, unfortunately. But uh, And the Belvedere, so. Ah! So that's a great show, guys. You can check that out later and, uh, and check out Jim. Later. Hey. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Okay. So, yeah. So this next performer is from Austin, Texas. Um, she's graced our presence probably about six weeks, six months ago, and then recently had a, a tour. And uh, you you released a a single over the summer, right? Or it was like a split kind of thing. I forget what it was. I'm sorry. I didn't release anything. Okay. Yeah. No. It was, it was just the same songs. You just kind of you threw them out there again, or. Okay, and that's what you had last time, the, the bedroom tapes. Okay, hello. 
All right, yeah, another one of our fans. They're of all ages. You know, you never know. We, we, um, but it just goes to show that local, your local and music abroad brings people of all ages and and creeds and races and everything. So thank you for humanity. Okay, um, so you ready?
Field. We're so happy to have you back, and um, I'm just so happy for your tour, and I can't wait to see what you drop on the world next, so it's, we're so excited. I played your CD in my car for like three weeks. That's what I do when around here, like, like, not, like bands come through, and it's kind of cool to have seen them on their first couple shows, and then all of a sudden, your friends are playing with them, you know, like movie the band, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, you're playing with some of my friends from the other night, like, hey, cool, I saw them on their first show here. So it was just really fun, and, um, and I, I'm just excited maybe to possibly come down to Austin and, and kind of have maybe like a dreamy life reunion down there or something. We're, we're, we're pumped to maybe get something like that going. Um, so if anybody's got a tour bus and just kind of just chilling, you know, <laughs> hanging out. No, I'm just playing. Uh, you can support too by calling now. Now, uh, hey, thanks, thank you again for being here. There's some money going on back here in this bucket. There's also some super food. Uh, popcorn. We got popcorn with some spirulina on it, so you can get some healthiness there. Uh, <laughs> uh, good times here at Dream and Life Records. This is just a good feeling being here. Everybody here is just um, just here for the same reason, and so this is some good music and support some great artists and um, a great show going on at Republic Street Bar. Um, that's the Dreamy Life uh, Expose. Featuring um, some really rad bands, so if you're if you're doing anything after this, that's what they would like me to promote. But um, some other friends of mine, I Happy Am, are playing at Lola's. So if you want to see like a cool, you know, uh, couples duo, they're gonna do like a cool happy happy thing. I love them. And um, anyway, so there's just a lot going on in the city, guys. It's just it's just pulsing with talent and and ambition, and just everybody is in it, and, and we're all just getting stirred up and. And you know, I, you know, some people are like, I'm not the creative type, and I get it, I understand. But maybe, you know, maybe you haven't just, maybe you haven't found the right outlet, you know? Just keep trying, and you never know. Uh, you never know what you can create if you really push yourself to new limits and new, new heights. And you too can push yourself with my 1,000 week program. That's right, for the rest of your known five years uh you're gonna be on my program and you're not gonna like it <laughs> i'm just kidding we have a little break from the program where you will like it you really will torture's fun when you get used to it no i'm just playing uh, <laughs> jim valley knows a lot about torture guys um, yeah man no actually a uh, really quick fact about jim valley and he would love to tell you all about it no. grew up in a his dad owned a record store how cool is that i mean would it be on the cutting edge of music through the times. It comes full circle, man. Well, look at him. He's got a he's got a record store now. He's my boss. Pays no bills. Cheap. So cheap. He's cheap. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'm getting a ranch beater. Sorry. So we're here live with Jim Valley at um, Ray's Con. Uh, what's going on with the Ray situation, Jim? The Ray situation? Well. <laughs> Are you zooming? Please zoom. Yeah, zoom. no, no. Well, I thought, you know, Pete, I have to let you know. Gung, 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 gung. We're live here with Jim Valley. He has I'm a gonna, statement. I'm going to double your pay right now. Oh, that's right. In a turn of events, folks, that a guy is saved and the library will never be the same to see his first paid volunteer be me. Thank you very much. I'd like to accept um, the pay raise. Oh, hold on. I'm getting, I'm getting reports. Uh-huh. Oh, it's not a, Okay. Actually, I've just been signed up for the Broccoli of the Month Club. Different types of broccoli around the country will be shipped to me via a cryogenically frozen <laughs> box of ice. I don't know. Uh, while they're setting up, this is I'm kind of fun time here. But really, it's just it's fun, guys. I, I really enjoy this way of just kind of like stream of consciousness, uh, trying the comedy bit thing, whatever you want to call it. I think I'm I think I'm pretty funny, you know, I'm at home, I'm just laughing, ha ha ha. People roll by my RV to think somebody's like, you know, manic. You know? <laughs> it's fun, it's just fun to laugh. I don't know if you like laughing, but I think it really is the best medicine. And a lot of the, the most uptight people, I don't think they laugh enough. And it's just like, hey, you know, if you laughed a little bit more, it's kind of, you know, weren't so serious about life. You know, it could be, it's, it's healthy, it's healthy to laugh. And so, I hope I do that, um, you know, and if I don't, you can heckle me or, or meet me after the show and we can talk about it. I'm, just, I'm really, I'm still learning. I'd like to go do open a mic some nights. But, you know, I feel like that's at night and my caffeine consumption, boop, 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 early in the day. And I, if I do that, I'm going to be up till six. You see this, this, 
This means you think like, oh wow, that guy's got a cool Avoca shirt. You know, I wonder if he works there. A lot of people are like, I didn't know if that was your name or if you just had a cool shirt. No. They're like, no, that's my name. Anyway, it's kind of cool. It, it, you think it means, oh wow, that guy works there. It means, no, that guy has a problem with Kathy. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone to AA. Hey guys, I'm here for coffee. And everybody's got coffee. And they're like, what? I'll just play it. That wouldn't really happen. I think people would be a lot more supportive. Um, I would like to think, but the world is dark in a town where it all seemed real and normal. One dready dude and a dready mission to become Dreddy Kruger. Dun, dun, dun. So I'm just kidding. That's just a, a fun little segue to something weird. This is another episode of something weird. So, does anybody have any weird thing they want to talk, like, say? You know, like, hey, did something happen to you that was weird? Anything, anybody? Well, let me tell you something. Uh, whew, I saw a baby squirrel run across the street. I thought that was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. This is, I mean, I, you know, I kind of wanted to go after it, but they're so quick and nimble. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> if you'd like to, um, you know, support music and you like to support art, you can do a lot of these things tonight by um, continuing your saga of maybe drinking or, um, you know, nothing of excess, of course. Uh, but just, you know, continue your saga in your evening and go out and just have a good old time at Public Street Bar and support Dreamy Life Records. Um, please don't forget to donate. I, I, don't, I can't stress that enough. Um, we got this. I'm back here. All of the to me, all of Schwarzenegger. Oh my gosh, guys, the uh, the governor's here. He's back here. Uh, this bit again, you saw the dog, Peter. Uh, but I'm just like trying this new thing. Uh, hold on. There's nobody, there's nobody putting anything in the bowl. I know, I'm, I'm gonna tell him. So Arnold Schwarzenegger doesn't want to come out. I do a really bad impersonation, by the way, of that. But anyway, it's kind of fun. This is the bowl. If you'd like to throw in a couple bucks, it really goes, well, these guys are traveling, they're touring, they got these cool, these cool um, urban assault vehicles. And it's really neat. I'm just saying, like, y'all's, y'all's array is pretty cool. Um, that Suburban, is that yours? Yeah. That's so cool. Did you have that last time? Um, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I guess it was raining. I forget what something, there was something reason why I didn't get to, I thought I was like, is that hers? I don't know. But it's, it's awesome, guys. It's tinted out. She's going to live in there and do whatever. Like, got the dog. I mean, like, they can go wherever. And that's the that's the way to go. And you two can travel like that if you just call. Oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, I can't stop doing that. It's so fun. I think, I think my purpose in life is to be the Micro Machines guy or, you know, one of some of these famous, you know, hype guys in the history of advertising. And, um, you know, I mean, give me a product. I could probably, you know, do a cool video about it. Anyway, check out some cool videos on social media if you see um, the, our YouTube channel. It's pretty sweet. I like to get comfortable on that YouTube channel, just kind of stretch out. You too can stretch. I will stretch your body. Anyway, stretch your body. Boom, boom. All right, here's the uh, here's another segment. Oh, what what time is it? Oh, we're still there. We're still getting all hype over here. Set up. It seems like they're close. Uh, this is. It's the time, it's actually, boop, 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 boop. Okay, it's time for the um, self kind of, you know, boop, boop, promotion. My band's playing its um, album release party, November 12th, the newly renovated Ridgely Room. Okay, that's coming up. If anybody wants to go, it's gonna be a really fun night. Space, 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 space. Space! <laughs> Themed. Okay, are you guys about, you guys? Close. Pretty close. I'm, I'm gonna let you have this one. Okay, here's the here's the, here they are, guys. Let's go. Let's go and put your hands together for them. They're gonna do kind of a <laughs> mic check real quick and then oh, yeah, start. Yeah. Okay, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, real live tigers. And all that I wanted to. Whoa. Savage to bed. We watched as that 
night of music from these two and um, also from Julia and Lucille thank you so much for being here it's just it's just such a, a privilege to be part of this event and always getting to like every week and to see something different and um, it, you know I always look forward to Friday yeah and Friday is normally a really hectic day and I'll be honest with you it's really hard for me to, to work at Avoca come here work at the record store we keep going have all this energy like and especially create videos and do all that fun stuff but it's worth it and with with my one million week program you can do that too uh, <laughs> yeah that's right for the rest of your remaining life you will be training to be the ultimate shopper i was kidding have you ever trained to be that it's pretty cool, you know, the supermarket sweep. I used to love that show. I always wondered, you know, why didn't they even go to like the most expensive oil, you know, like the oil section or, you know, why didn't they just get all those like really expensive? Because, you know, have you seen these oil concentrates? They're like, oh, that's going to be $30. They're like, are you kidding? How many mil microliters are we talking about here, people? I just wanted a couple drips. Hey, you two can have a couple drips. Um, anyway, thank you so much for uh, Dream Fairmount Community Library. Thank you so much for Rar Brewery. Um, Rar Brewery, brewing the rariest rars and Rar Brewery brews. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much. And uh, thank you for um, Fairmount Community Library and all the beautiful people part of that. Thank you for uh, Avoca Coffee because, you know, they, they kind of turned me into who I am today. So thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> And thank you, everybody in this room, for being here. You should feel really good about it and uh, continue to support local music. Jim Valley, the beautiful Jim Valley here. He's single. He likes uh, ride. He likes riding bikes. He's really into the outdoors and like camping. He is your guy if you want to go camping. He will make you a vegan like souffle or something over the fire. You're like, how'd you make the souffle, bro? I thought you can only do that in the oven. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. He's like, actually, I garnished it with a, a raspberry clamato. So you're like, whoa, wow, what? That you made all that camping. That's Jim Valley for you. He's rolling around with the dish. If you haven't already donated, please donate. If you can't, just send your warm love and energy to these these musicians. And uh, check us out next week. Um, Vern, do you know off the top of your head who's here next week? I, I think I do. I should too. I feel like it's somebody I know. Oh, you know what? It's some new some newbies. The first show here will be next week. Tune in next week for Nothing Live. 
That's right. So, yeah, tune in next week for something about last week. But then it'll be next week, and then we'll be, wait. But in, yeah, but in Japan, it's already like a week and a day. We're, we're playing next week. Oh, you are, yes. Quit. Yes, Valencia Orange. I was hoping somebody would speak up. Valencia Orange, we'll be playing here tonight. <laughs> right. I, like, I didn't register with you. Yeah. It's not your first show, though. Yeah, it's our first yeah. show. It's their first show. It's super exciting. Yeah. Not ever. Not ever. Yeah. How long have you been around? Like three years. Three years, three years yeah. Valencia Orange has been ripening to be, to be <laughs> unleashed <laughs> onto the Fairmont Community Library next Friday in the form of happy hour. You can attend. Yeah. Call me at home at 3 in the morning. We'll talk about it. <laughs> I'm Peter Gillen, signing off for another Dream Life Happy Hour. Thank you so much.